I'm really excited about today's video. I have never done anything like this before. I was scrolling through TikTok late at night, as I do, and I stumbled across Sharon's TikTok called Collected. She is a lover of all things vintage. She actually makes style bundles. I literally spent an entire night watching every single one of her TikTok videos. It was just mind-blowing, the things that she would find for people's bundles, the exact things that they wanted, or she like really, captured their style so super well. So I knew I needed to get a thrift bundle. The way this works is Sharon asked me to send her a Pinterest board of sort of my style, but then also wish list items, that sort of thing. I'm going to put all of Sharon's links in the description of this video if you want your own style bundle. It was $230. Included in that is 11 to 14 pieces. It takes about one to two weeks to complete. She currently only ships to the US, but I have a PO box in the US, so that's what I did. I described my style as edgy boho meets disco cowgirl. I said my most worn outfits are ones that mix a very feminine piece with a very grungy piece while also having a cowgirl flair. I feel most confident when I look like we're dressing up to go to a country music festival. I told her I was hoping for a few statement pieces but then also a bunch of pieces that work cohesively together. I gave her a list of things I love which included long maxi skirts, robes, Harley Davidson tees, oversized or cropped, fringe tassels, wide brim hats, bell sleeves and ruffles, silk and sparkle, dainty floral patterns. I told her I love styling a lace long sleeve under dresses, etc. I let her know that I already have a cream one um, and a black one at home. The colors that I like are pink, black, white, mustard, burnt orange and hints of red. I told her I wasn't very fond of green because my hair is pink. On my wish list was a black wide brim western hat, cool lace pieces like skirts and tops, cool vests, Harley Western graphic tees, spaghetti style dresses to wear over long lace long sleeves, silk bandanas, and a bolo tie. I told her I didn't really want jeans, that I would prefer a pair of cool wide leg pants if she were to do pants, but I would prefer skirts slash dresses. I have this massive box of goodies to open. I already know what's in this because I am impatient and she made a TikTok about it, but I'm excited to show you. I wanted to film my reaction actually opening it. This is so stinking cute. Okay, let me get everything out of the box and we will go through it one by one. So the first item in my bundle was this incredible Harley Davidson shirt. This is the front, has a little pocket on it with some flames. The back is incredible. So it says Route 66, it has the mountains, it has a bunch of saguaro cactuses. I'm literally thinking about like stitch ripping the pocket, maybe doing like a cut here so it's like a little more open and just rocking this as the front print because it's incredible and that's how I'm gonna style it. So let me throw this on. My bundle also came with this really cool belt. So I feel like this is how I would style this outfit. I love a silk skirt so much some platform vans. The problem with Harley shirts is so often I just want the front print to be the back. There are no rules when it comes to fashion and you can do whatever you want. Another item in my bundle is this bolo tie. It is incredible. She literally outdid herself. I feel this would really go quite well um, with this outfit, especially because I have like the cream hat on. So I could totally like take the belt off and just rock with the bolo tie. The next item, is literally, it's tied with first place. When I saw that she got me these, I I screamed. I literally let out an audible scream. This, I'm such a sucker for a robe. This is like the most stunning robe I've ever seen. I mean, look at all the detailing. My original thought here was to go like all super white, um, but you lose the, the lace, you know, when you do that. So, I paired it with this beautiful patchwork skirt I have and these white cowboy boots. This is literally so beautiful. I love this little outfit. The next item is equally as incredible, if not more. So we have this black lace robe just to die for. It has these like little bows, three little bows in the front. Let's style this one. For this outfit, we went full on gothic cowgirl and I am living for it. Like I said, I feel really good when I when we're dressed up to go to a music festival and this is something I definitely would wear to a country music festival. I think that if I wanted something that was a little more 
cover it up. I probably would just wear this with like a tank top, t-shirt, something like that. Like I thought about just like throwing this Long Live Cowboys t-shirt under it and I think it would be really cute as well. The back looks super cute too. Fire, absolutely fire. Next we have this beautiful patchwork animal print dress. Possibly it just needs a white tee under it to make it good. Maybe this is too much. Um, I've got it with some black boots. I don't know if you guys know this trick, but you can take like the bottom bit of a skirt and you can just literally tuck it into your underwear. And then you sort of get this like little knee slit thing, which I think is nice. I'm gonna leave this one here. I think I still have some like work to do on it. That's what the back looks like. The next thing that she got me was this poncho. This one I'm a little nervous to style. You know what? I'm holding this up right now in front of this dress going, that's the match. Here's how it looks together. Again, this is a little out of my comfort zone. How would you guys style this poncho? Because I don't know. <laughs> this is cute for sure, but I need help. On the topic of really out of my comfort zone, this suede hat, but I'm excited to try it because it's like something I wouldn't normally pick for myself, but I wonder what it's gonna look like. I always see people with these sorts of hats on. I literally don't know if I can pull it off. This is probably the only thing that I don't feel comfortable in out of everything. I'm just such a wide brim hat girly. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like I look silly. The next item is so gorgeous. I can't believe that it's mine. This vintage Western suede jacket is unbelievable. I don't even think I'm cool enough to wear something like this. Look at the detailing down the arm. I don't feel cool enough to wear this. I'm happy to have sort of like a dressier jacket because it's something that I feel like I'm missing a lot. I definitely mentioned that I love to layer things. So Sharon got me this beautiful like rose print mesh top. It's so gorgeous. I love this so freaking much. It's just like, a, it's gonna be such a good layering piece. I'm gonna wear the heck out of this. Paired it with some like white boots. Such a good piece. I feel like it got so dark, I'm so sorry. But this is the next piece, this skirt actually. I have styled it with this vest that I got from Spell. I think that this is like a stunning outfit. It's so gorgeous. I wouldn't normally like go for this dark of a red, but it literally makes this outfit amazing. I think that's what's so cool about having other people thrift for you is that stuff that actually would work for me, I actually have now. Because I tend to think I thrift the same things all of the time. This is such a cute little outfit. One of my favorites for sure out of the whole set. She sent me this. It looks like a wallet, obviously. I've got these two sides of it that open and, but when you open it up, it is so freaking cool because it has a little spot for your ID and all of your cards and then this huge, huge pocket. I just love the layout of it. So next we have this crochet sweater which took me a minute to like figure out. So here is the sweater. You could definitely wear it done up, but I kind of like it undone. Kind of just like spices up an outfit. It's just paired it with shorts and some boots it's from the back. There were a couple pins on my board of Anina Bing shirts. And so she found me one. I just paired them with these like wide leg pants because you know I love a grungy piece and a girly piece. The last piece is quite stunning. It is this vest. As you guys saw in the other outfit, I really do like a graphic vest. I don't really know how to style this, but I thought that because there's like some blue and pink in these pants, and I feel like this one's a little out of my comfort zone, to be fair, but I'm gonna learn how to style it. I do think probably with like a pair of shorts in the summertime. It's such good quality and it fits so well. I'm in my silk bandana girl era. Looks really cute because it's got like the purple florals on it. That is a lot of pieces I feel like. I feel like it's a well-priced thrift bundle. I feel like she's so, so talented at finding like vintage pieces. It's actually astonishing how well she did and she does this all the time too thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this different take on a thrift haul i suppose i'm going to leave all of sharon's info 
down below. I'm gonna leave her shop, I'm gonna leave her TikTok. You can go watch her haul, all of the things she got in the TikTok as well. I will see you guys in my next video, bye.